one of these brides loves to drive topless. <laughs> Which one is it? Well, her husband's about to find out, and so are you, because it's time to play the newlywed game. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gary Kroger, and welcome to the Newlywed Game. Today, we're going to meet three great new couples, and they're going to discover just how well they know each other. Here's how the game works. I ask them questions about their relationship, each other. Every correct answer earns points. The couple with the most points wins an incredible second honeymoon. Let's meet our first couple, the Penders. She's a 27-year-old teacher. He's a 31-year-old educational therapist. They've been married for nine months. Please meet Andrea and Mike Pender. <laughs> Next, he's a 26-year-old personal trainer. They've been married for six months. She's a 23-year-old bookkeeper. Please welcome Kimberly and Troy Beesons. <laughs> welcome to the show. Good to see you. Finally, She's a 28-year-old travel agent. He's a 25-year-old computer salesman. They've been married for just one month. Please meet Karen and Dave Richards. Congratulations to you. <laughs> a big hello to all of our newlyweds today. Welcome to the show. Now, ladies, before the show, we had an opportunity to videotape your husbands. Now, Karen, I'm going to start with you, and I want you to look at this monitor right here and take a look at your husband, Dave. The one room in our home I wish my wife would spend more time in is? For 10 <laughs> points, finish that sentence. The kitchen. The kitchen. OK. The kitchen. <laughs> he said the kitchen. <laughs> 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 Kimberly, let's take a look at Troy. My wife's most neurotic habit is? Um, my most neurotic habit is um, uh, taking a, 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 a bath all the time. <laughs> OK, all right. Taking a bath all the time. <laughs> Sticking your tongue out before she takes a bite of food. Uh, <laughs> oh, <Troy. laughs> Oh, Troy, just kinda... you maybe want to demonstrate that? Well, it's just, I, I don't even think she, in her defense, I don't I think don't she realizes do she does it. Uh -huh. It's kind of like... <laughs> I don't do that. I don't. He says, like, I don't do that. It's subconscious, though, I think. Do All right, Andrea, let's watch Mike. The one outfit of my wife's that I love the most is... Um, my white suit. Your white suit. See if Mike loves your white suit. That easy access sundress. <laughs> <laughs> easy access sundress? What? Explain that. G Gary, Gary, that's it's kind of self-explanatory. You know? <laughs> Those dresses, they come off very easily. Right? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. Guess what, Mike? We did the same thing with the ladies, and you're going to take a look at your wife, Andrea, right now. My husband can always tell I'm angry when I. We stopped it right there. You can tell she's angry when she, for 10 points. When her eyes begin to water up. When her eyes begin to water up, OK. Give him evil looks. Oh. You always say, oh, there's that look again. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hitting me? Andrew, I'm curious. What is that evil look? You know, she just knows. kind of, you know, the oh, sneer, yeah, yeah, yeah. the. I walk by and give him the look. He goes, what did I do? Oh, you know? You know that. No, that's not true. Yes, Your eyes are always watering up. When they begin to water up, I know immediately. Stupid. I got to go on the defense. <laughs> here, here, here go. OK. Nope. Troy, let's watch Kimberly. My husband is really cheap when it comes to? When it comes to clothes. Clothes. OK. Paying for parking. <laughs> I have Troy. to admit that. <clears throat> you don't like to pay for the ballet? <laughs> no, I don't like that. Yeah? No, it's the parking ticket is actually the game. You know, it's... He's well, if you don't pay for the ballet, you're driving around, you're getting parking tickets. Yeah. That's a very male thing, though, right? To just keep driving around. Yeah, and you never stop and ask directions. Never. <laughs> no, never. That's, that's part of the male code. We never <laughs> ask go. for directions. There you go. All right, Dave, let's look at Karen. 
My husband knows better than to kiss me on my... <laughs> what do you think, Dave? Period. I'm, I'm cool with it, you know. Let's uh, let's see if uh, that's what it is. Feet, they're very ticklish. She said oh, feet. Damn. She, well, I didn't mean you know. Just as right, right, right. right. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're gonna be a lot of fun. I can tell. All these guys are gonna be a lot of fun. So stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> Buzzer brings you better living through advertising. Vintage game shows with cool commercials left in. Returns tonight starting at 4, only on Buzzer. You're all just at the edge of your seats. I like that. Welcome back to the Newlywed Game, everyone. Now, Dave, I understand at your wedding, uh, there was a little delay during the ceremony? Yeah, um... My best man got the ring stuck on his finger. And uh, when the minister asked for it, he had a hard time getting off because he had it over his pinky. And uh, he's doing one of these things. <laughs> that. And he finally got it, and it was agonizing on the video. Now, Troy, you two, you and Kimberly, you spent your honeymoon in an airport lounge. Well, you know, don't even get me started. It was, actually wasn't even in a lounge. They locked us in the terminal. We were ready to board the plate, gone through customs, and and there was a mechanical difficulty, and they didn't have customs there, so they kept us there overnight. Basically had us under guard the whole time. Oh, so you, sp you put quarters in those little TV sets? <laughs> no, they didn't <laughs> no have TV. any. No, they had nothing? They had a couple of blankets, and that was about it. Well, play hard, and maybe we can make up for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Andrea, when you first met Mike, you burst into tears. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of. I was stood up for a sorority party, and um, I started crying, and he came over and consoled me. Oh. Aww. Aww. And so was it just love at first sight, then? Oh, yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, what, what put you over the edge, then? Well, when I, when I wasn't drunk and, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We don't need to go any further. 
All right, now here, let me recap the scores for you right now. Karen and Dave, you have 10 points, 10 big ones. You're in first place. <laughs> Kimberly and Troy, you're in second place. Well, you're tied for second place, actually, with no points. <laughs> Which means, Andrea and Mike, you have no points. But things are going to change, and here's what's going to happen. I'm going to give each one of you a multiple choice question. Now, it's up to you to answer which of the three answers I give you your mate already said. Each correct answer is 10 points. All right? I'm going to start with you right here, Andrea. Did Mike say that when you pack, you travel lightly, bring most of your wardrobe, or empty out the house? Empty out the house. Oh. What'd you say, Mike? I said that she uh, brings most of her wardrobe. That's exactly what you said. Yeah. She doesn't empty out the house. I mean, she leaves the kitchen sink. Yeah, but she <laughs> brings a lot of food. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Trust me. Kimberly, when Troy is dressed and ready to go, does he say that you are already waiting at the door, just starting to get ready, or seized with the impulse to change your outfit? See, the impulse to change my outfit. No. Oh, come on. What'd you say, Troy? You know. What were you doing this morning? You were waiting at the door, basically always, in the car, honking the horn at me. But you always <laughs> say that I'm, I'm not really ready. You're like, say I'm, say I'm but ready. But you tell me you are. So, so she's ready you before you are? She waits for you? Almost always, but then he, then he acts like I'm really not ready. I'm just saying that. And then so she has so to go the back. the last and, word. You know, I let her have her way. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, when asked to describe you, his little Madonna, before he met you, did Dave say that you were a shining star, like a virgin, or a material girl? Uh, a shining star. No! Oh. What, what did you say? Uh, like a virgin. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Boy, let me, uh, she was just so nice and sweet. It was, you what? know, kind of, is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll give him a break. That was a good answer. Dave, let's turn to you now. If Karen had to rate you for Consumer Reports, which category would she give you the lowest marks? Appearance, dependability, or performance? I'm going to have to say performance. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> That's brutal. Karen, what do you mean performance? Um, As King Lear or, uh, I, or what? I don't mean his acting, Gary. Oh. His but performance. I won't elaborate, okay? Okay, fine. All right, fine. <laughs> Troy, it's your turn. When you buy something that has to be built, what did Kimberly say that you usually do? Use the manual, skip the manual, or hire manual labor? Definitely skip the manual. That's what she said. <laughs> Being the cheapskate I am, I don't want to invest in the manual also, you know? <laughs> but you're a guy's guy. You don't like directions, you don't like to valet park, you know. and you like to do it yourself. <laughs> Secret show. All right. Mike. If kissing were in the Olympics, which would Andrea award you? A gold medal, a silver medal, or a nice parting gift? A nice parting gift. That's what she said. <laughs> we got one. But, uh, see what? Oh, no, that, that was at least a bronze. Nice parting gift. Okay, we'll be right back right after this. Don't go away. <laughs>
after the newlywed game. Right now, my friends, Karen and Dave over there have 20 points. You're in the lead. And my good friends, Kimberly and Troy, you're in second place still with 10 points now. And, you're <laughs> and that's right, you're tied with Andrea and Mike, my good friends, with 10 points as well. Okay, now you know what, guys? Before the show, we talked to your wives. And they revealed all sorts of things about your relationship, little embarrassing moments. Now, as I read each of their secrets, if you think it's your wife that I'm talking about, I want you to hold up that sign that you have in your left hand, and you're going to get my attention by saying, That's, that's my okay, wife! That's great. Now, <laughs> each correct time, you're going to get 10 points. Now, if you're wrong, you're going to lose 10 points, and only the first one up can win or lose. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Put your game faces on. There we are. She sneaks pints of Ben and Jerry's ice cream when you're not around, and that is your wife. She's so glad you finally learned to massage her feet. That's my wife. Yes, it was. <laughs> she says you can't talk to her in the morning until you That's brush definitely my your wife. teeth. Mike, you were first. And yes, yes. it was your wife. Yes. What's the, the story old, at? The little dragon breath seems to get her every well, time. Well, no, I'm pregnant and I can't stand any nauseating smells because I'll grow up. <laughs> You're pregnant? Well, congratulations. Congratulations. That's wonderful. She loves to take her top off when you're driving. That's my wife. Okay. Yeah. Karen. What's, uh, what's going on there? Well, I only do it at night. Oh, you only do it at night? <laughs> well, when there's it, no cars like, around. If we go on road trips and stuff, I get kind of bored. Uh -huh. So I just like... She flashes the truckers. And I do not flash the truckers. <laughs> Dave, how does that affect your driving? Oh, it sits rough. <laughs> I'm keeping one eye on her and one eye on the road. <laughs> no accidents yet, though. She secretly goes shopping and tears up the receipts. That's probably my wife. <laughs> 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 yeah! Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, who was that? Oh, my. <laughs> oh. He doesn't know. You're kidding me. You know I'm kidding you. <laughs> the sexiest thing in her closet is her white lace panty. That's my wife! No! That wasn't your wife. Kimberly? That's oh. my panty. Oh. <laughs> it's me! They, they all look alike. See? <laughs> See? I, he would not know the difference between thinking... white lace panties and white juggernauts. <laughs> right? I was thinking those word to the wise. I'm... Pay attention. I'm still, remembering... <laughs> I'm still remembering a black teddy. I'm... She, I'm she like, says oh. you always walk around naked. That's my wife. Yes, indeed. <laughs> We're on fire now. We're coming back. Yeah, very, well, very good. <laughs> Andrea, is there anything wrong with him running around the house in the... In the box? <laughs> no, except for the lady across the street is always looking through our windows because he doesn't <laughs> shut the drapes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's hope the lady across the street is watching now. And we'll be right back right after this. <laughs>
This week in game show history, Masquerade Party debuts. In one year, NBC cancels Match Game. You don't say, I guess, and personality. And The Price is Right airs episode 3000. Actual retail price, priceless. Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. At the end of this round, one of these couples will be off to a fabulous second honeymoon. Let's find out where they're going this time. Today's winning newlyweds are going on the Moorings Yachting Getaway. They'll be living large aboard a 50-foot yacht with their own captain and cook for three days. Then they'll dock and spend four nights on the island of Grenada, courtesy of the Moorings Yachting Getaway. Not bad. All right, Kimberly and Troy, right now you're in third place. You have 10 points. Andrea and Mike... You have 30 points. You're tied for first place with Karen and Dave, who have 30 points. But this is a round where anything can happen, and it happens really quickly. Now, guys, I'm going to give your wives a couple of choices. They'll be like um, beer or wine, football or baseball, and they're going to hold up the card that best applies to you. Now, things change quickly here because the point values keep going up. I'm going to start at 10 points and go all the way to 100 points. So you guys can make up a lot of ground. All right? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. For 10 points, mild or spicy? Quickly, ladies, hold them up there, Mike. Spicy, baby. <laughs> okay, baby, you got it. Troy. Spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Dave. Go for the hot stuff. Spicy. <laughs> okay, very good. For 20 points, street smart or book smart? Troy? Uh, book smart. Book smart, she says. Dave. Street smart. Street smart, she said. Yeah. Mike. Hit the books, Gary. Book smart. Hey, very good. Very good. You guys are all batting a thousand so far. For 30 points, pumps iron or shovels food? Dave. Shovels food. That's what she said. Mike. I'll be shoveling food. You're shoveling food. And Troy. Pumping iron. Pumping iron. We seem to know each other pretty well. For 40 points, mama's boy or bad boy? Mike, what are you? I gotta say mama's boy. Yeah, well, that's what your wife said. Troy. Bad boy? Very good. Dave. I gotta go for mama. Okay, wow. This is amazing. I don't think this has ever happened before. This is for 50 points. Quiet sleeper or the snore master? Quickly, Karen, I'm going to start with you, Troy. She's going to say snore master. And that is what she said. Dave. I got to go for the snore master. Uh, no, quiet sleeper. <laughs> Mike. I saw plenty of logs. I'm the snore master. OK. <laughs> All right, this is a big one here. This is for 60 points. Night heat or morning glory? I'm going to start with you, Dave. Morning glory. Night heat. <laughs> Karen is just going, what is going on here? Mike. Rise and shine, morning glory. Very good. <laughs> it's easy, Troy. Night heat. Night heat. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that confident pose you, yeah. That would be night heat, Gary. There All right. Okay, here's the moment of truth, because this is for 100 points. Now, right now, Andrea and Mike, you're in first place. You have 240. Kimberly and Troy, you have 220. And Karen and Dave, you have 130. But this is for 100 points. Are you ready? <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> kitchen table or kitchen floor? Okay, Dave, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to go for the kitchen table. It was the kitchen floor. I'm sorry. Okay, now, Troy, this is an opportunity to go into first place. Kitchen table. She said kitchen floor, which means, Mike, it would be really hard for you to miss, but tell us what you're going to say anyway. Kitchen table. Well, you got it right, but you would have won. Anyway. <laughs> Congratulations to the Benders. <laughs> They're going on a wonderful second place. <laughs> I want to thank all our couple for playing. This was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>
I'm Gary Kroger, and welcome to the Newlywed Game. Let's meet our first couple. She's a 24-year-old development assistant. He's a 22-year-old bartender. They've been married only three months. Say hi to Kim and Lance Harrell. Welcome. Good luck.